Welcome back, everyone. You are enjoying another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you by Tale of Two Hygienists in partnership with Elevate Oral Care. And now, please welcome your host, Tom Viola. Hi, I'm Tom Viola, a certified pharmacist, dental educator, and author. Stick with me, and I promise to make the next few minutes the best pharmacology learning experience you've ever had. Hi, everyone. Tom Viola from Pharmacology Declassified. We got another Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition. Well, it's been a real pleasure being on this journey with you throughout the uh, Fast Facts Pharmacology Editions that we recorded over all these months. Remember, pharmacology is a two-way street. You've got to be an expert in medications that we use in dentistry because they may have an impact on the patient's uh, systemic health. But at the same time, you've got to be an expert in what medications the patients use for their systemic health because they might have an impact on dentistry. And one of the products that uh, comes to mind for me that sort of spans both medicine and dentistry is a product called povidone iodine. Well, povidone iodine has been around for a very long time. I'm lucky and very fortunate to have uh, been sponsored uh, in this series by our friends at Elevate Oral Care who make a povidone iodine 10% topical solution called povi one well, what is it about povidone iodine? That all, sounds awful familiar to me. Well, you may remember it as its brand name, Betadine, in years gone by, and available, of course, now uh, over-the-counter and, and available generically. Povidone iodine is a well-known antiseptic, antibacterial product. It, it, you know it's been used topically, but it's also used in dentistry as, as applied to mucous membranes. So it's applied to lots of mucous membranes, but of course, we're talking about those in the oral cavity. It's been used regularly to treat full mouths prior to general dental treatments, especially those that involve uh, anesthesia, general anesthesia. The good part about povidone iodine, what makes it so valuable, is that it can not only reduce bacteria, but also glucan production by those bacteria. Now, glucan is a major component in polysaccharides. And those are the things that help make the plaque, right, sticky, to help the bacteria make plaque that's both sticky and viscous. Well, there have been numerous studies that have shown what? When you take povidone iodine, which not only kills the bacteria, but eliminates the glucans, and combine it with fluoride, you get synergy. What does synergy mean? Synergy means you use two things together. And even though you can use them together at regular doses, you get a greater overall effect. So that means povidone iodine with fluoride isn't like a one plus one equals two synergy. It's more like a one plus one equals three synergy. So they actually work better together than they would individually on their own. Well, wait a minute, doesn't iodine stain things? Well, remember that this is povidone iodine and we know that povidone iodine does not stain teeth and it's often used, as we said, to prevent tooth decay. Well. Povidone iodine has demonstrated that it kills bacteria in concentrations of 10%. But because it's diluted by saliva and other fluids, we know that it actually kills better at its full strength. Okay? We know that it releases more free iodine as it dilutes, so therefore we're getting that full effect even though it is being diluted by those other fluids. And there's even a, an insurance code uh, that you can use, uh, D1355, uh, to build for povidone iodine applications. And the ADA has released guidance on this. You can find it uh, uh, at the ADA's website. Remember that povidone iodine can be applied topically to a specific area, but it's generally done through a mouth rinse or even applied in a varnish as long as that varnish releases the povidone iodine when in contact with the oral cavity. So that, my friends, is a uh, update on povidone iodine. And this is again, Tom Viola with Pharmacology Declassified. And yes, this has been another Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition. Until next time, my friends, be well. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to hear more from me, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or visit my website at www.tombiola.com. Thank you for listening to another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you in part by Elevate Oral Care creators of the innovative and proven prevention-focused oral care products from Advantage Arrest Silver Diamine Fluoride to Floramax Sodium Fluoride Varnish. Learn more by visiting www.elevateoralcare.com and schedule your free CE staff meeting today. We'll see you next time for another Fast Facts.